Here's a very simple beam with one force acting directly in the center of the beam. And it's being held up on the left and right sides with two columns. So we're going to call that reaction force A and reaction force B. So uh, because of the fact that there's a force pushing up on one side and another force pushing down on the other side, you can imagine if you took this material and with one hand you pushed up and with the other hand you pushed down, there's this danger of puncturing through, right? So there's this kind of puncture force that could happen. And so this beam could actually physically shear right through due to the fact that there's two opposing forces acting up and down. And when your upward force is on the left and your downward force is on the right, we define that as positive shear, okay? Now, if we looked at the right section of this beam, if we were to cut it in half again, this time the right side of the beam has that force on the left, and on the right side we have that reaction force at point B, RB. And so this is also going to cause a shear force. Um, so basically you have one side of the beam being pushed up on and the other side being pushed down on. And it's going to cause a danger of puncturing through this beam again. And again, that's a potential failure, right? But this time, if your force is down on the left and up on the right, we call that negative shear. So there's positive shear and negative shear. And it's important that we define the difference because we're going to get positive shear in some parts of this beam and negative shear in other parts, okay? So that's shear failure. That's one failure mode that we have to watch out for. The other is bending failure.